So this is my first skateboard. It's like the standard like plastic trucks, bearings don't roll, like <laughs> anti-concave. My dad says like he got back from one of the first ultrasounds. I like, went to the store and just grabbed like the first skateboard he saw. He always skated, so that was like one of his first things to get. Growing up, I always looked up to my dad skating, like, and I guess I used to always say, once I learn inverts, then I'll be better than you. Cause that was like kind of his, his go-to trick it was like invert, backside air, rock and rolls. He'd always pick the weirdest spot to rock and roll, which then I think influenced me to just try and skate like the weirdest wall in a pool and like see what you can do over the hips. That are like the hips are usually the steepest part in the pool, so I'd, I would just try and do whatever I could on the hips. It brought a tear to my eye one day because they were having soccer sign-ups for the new season, and I asked him, "Hey, you want me to sign you up?" And he, he said, "No." I don't. And my wife said, well, you have to do something. And he's like, I just want to go skateboard with dad. And he was six years old and it's been one hell of a roller coaster since then. <laughs> It was kind of rad because he always knew he had something, you know. Even even when he was like six, he can already do like some stuff already. Funny thing is, when he was so little, his head was so well. This helmet was so big, it made his it made his whole head look so big because it, it was just he was just had all the pads on. He just was full padded up, you know, like all the kids are when they're little. So. That's kind of my first memory is just seeing him all like that and being just like, you know, not talking too much like he is now and just kind of being aloof and kind of looking down but has a smile on his face all the time because he wants to do it. And, you know, I mean, and you could tell he was like a sponge then, just, just soaking it all up. He didn't even really talk too much, you know what I mean? He's a pool skateboarder, right? He's a pool skateboarder. I think that's what brings him joy on his skateboard. There isn't an industry to pay your way as a pool skateboarder. He's played the game enough to make a living and have a wife and a child and a house at a young age that this is what they're gonna give me, I'll do that as well. I, I relate to that so well. It's like, but then when he gets to do what he wants to do, he shuts it down. He's technically the best bowl skater I think I've ever seen in skate. Um, and technically is the wrong word because people think of technically as like his technical ability. Um, and that's different than in a backyard. Technical and ability in a backyard is how you navigate and put lines together. And technical ability on other things is the, the, techni the technical parts of the tricks. First memory of Tristan, and I saw Tristan do a, a frontside roll in and a invert revert on the face wall. That's the first thing I ever saw him do. And I'm like, who the f is this little kid? Like, I couldn't believe it. And I think it, like, by riding different pools all the time and everything being so different, and unique, it made him adapt quicker and, and better. And it just, I think just that kind of thing as he was growing up and developing his skate skill, it really helped him become like who he's become because it allowed him to. Um, be much more versatile. Like it's not a skate park wall. These are pools. Every wall is different. Every wall is a puzzle to figure out. And he learned that from the very start as he was developing how to be a skateboarder. Steve Alba was the first pro skater that really introduced me to like pool skating in general. Really, being from the Badlands, there's no vert ramps, no vert skaters. So was, I was just more drawn to like concrete 
in that style of skating. Badlands geographically is the area between the 57 freeway and the 15 freeway, the 210 freeway and the 60 freeway. So all those cities that encompass that little zone in there, basically Badlands is any, any zone in America which is basically uninhabitable because there's no water. Using the summertime, the heat's like 90 to 100 plus, um, so it's, it's, it's hard living. And, and what put the Badlands on the map more than anything is Baldy Pipe. And then you also have uh, Pipeline Skate Park. Every year they had a pipeline contest there from like probably like 1978 all the way basically through the pipeline close in 1988. They basically had a contest here every single year. If you were a skateboarder pro at that point, you were a vertical skateboarder, in order to really cement your career, you had to win a pipeline contest. Then after the pipeline skate park, then it was the Vans Combi Pool. They had those contests for 15 years that was mimicking the combi from the old skate park at Upland. So winning that contest just set me up, like put me on the path I'm on now. It's what like really got me in touch with Rockstar. It's a crazy team to be a part of. There's two Olympic medalists, there's like Sodies, there's like some of the gnarliest street and bowl dudes like Chris Joslin, Clay, like it's a heavy team to be a part of. He's doing what we're doing, and that's why I'm so sick about Tristan. Some of the other guys who skate with him, the pool guys, don't do what Tristan does. They, they don't do the competitions like him. So that's why I think Tristan might look some of the rise guys. He's in, he's in both worlds, and he can rip in both worlds, and, and people respect both worlds. So to do both those kind of genres, and to be good at him, and be finishing in top three, and in top five, and top ten, the kid is sick. And I love Tristan Randy so much, and I applaud the kid, and I, 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 I root for him and he's in these competitions. I'm sitting there, I put the live cast on him. Yeah, 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 go, go. And my wife goes, what are you doing? I'm all Tristan skating. In my opinion, the Badlands produces some of the baddest skaters out there. And Tristan's one of the baddest skaters from the Batman, so yeah, give it up for Tristan, man. <laughs>